morning guys it's wednesday i have not vlogged all week because it's been very busy i've been preparing for the bioassay which i'm going to plate up today i need to go and check my cultures to make sure they've grown i have not grown cultures for a few weeks now because i've been on holiday and then when i came back i was just isolating purifying samples so let's go and check if my bacteria have grown i'm actually quite scared let's have a look the moment of truth Guys, I'm scared. Okay, I think they have grown to some extent. Oh no, they don't look great. I swear I do this every freaking time. <laughs> I look in the darkness over there and I'm like, oh no, they're not cloudy. And then I look at them here in the actual light and yeah, you can see that's cloudy. You can't even see the numbers. What is it that the fashion bloggers and the makeup girls do? Is it like this? To try and get it to focus, they put their hand behind it. <laughs> anyway, it's not focusing. But I don't know if you can see, you can't even see the numbers through through the turbidity, so we're all good. I'm just going to put them back in there until I need to use them, because now I need to gather all of my stuff, my equipment, put it in the hood to sterilise, and wait half an hour. So in that time, I'm going to have some breakfast. No one is in the office this morning. Well, so far. We've got so many chairs, by the way. Goodbye. Um, and no one's in the lab yet. It's so dark. No one's here. Just little old me. So I'm going to sit down and make a little to-do list and a plan for the bioassay so I know exactly the steps that I need, exactly my plate layout, and I will show you once I am done. Okay, this is actually one that I made yesterday, so if you know anything about 96 well plate, it's got A to H down this side. The the y-axis wow maths i don't even know <laughs> and then 1 to 12 at the top so then there is a well in each one so a1 would be a well a2 would be an l well a3 would be a well and so on and that makes 96 wells so with my samples i'm going to be testing 21 of my own samples so from sample 33 to 54 and two of my colleagues samples then i always have my control which is just the bacterial culture uh, on its own and I also have a control of the media. So I always just like to write which sample is going in which wells just so I can keep referring to this um, while I'm plating up so I don't get lost because it's a lot of samples to plate up. And here's my to-do list I just made for the actual bioassay. So I first need to dilute the cultures, then I'm going to add all the samples to the wells and then I'm going to add the cultures to the wells and then I'm going to add the cultures plus the control well the culture control wells and then add the media controls so i'm just going to bring that with me when i go to the micro lab so i have a to-do list so i know exactly what i need to do and i don't have to think about things too much i'm also on solvent duty today so i need to get rid of all of these bottles into the bin there's thankfully no waste that i need to take out today which is good but we need to check the solvents to make sure that we have enough for everyone for the day we should have four bottles of methanol so we have one two three okay so we have three for now so i can get them in the afternoon and if anyone requests any other solvent i will go and get them for them these are all of my samples that i prepared yesterday and monday with the help of joelle so i'm going to bring them down to the micro lab with the other stuff that I need to put under the bench to sterilize. And then it will be time for breakfast, I think. I swear there is no better feeling than when you have plated up all of your plates for the bioassay. I am so glad that that is done. I have a stiff neck, I have a stiff back, I have a stiff everything. So now time to clean up the clean bench and then I'm gonna have lunch. I think I've deserved it. 
Hello, hello, good morning, happy Thursday. I'm finding it quite difficult to vlog sometimes these days because the lab is getting busier and busier now that restrictions have kind of been lifted in the uni. And I get shy speaking and videoing in front of other people, so I don't always have like the right moments to film in the lab, but I'm trying. I try to look for those kind of more quiet times when people aren't around. And this little room, which is the DNA lab, just give you a little whistle stop tour. Yeah, this room, the DNA lab, tends to be quite quiet, so this is kind of my little refuge uh, where I come, and there's this beautiful lighting with the window. Um, so this is where I come to do my little dialogues like this. But yeah, today is Thursday. I'm going to be working with Joelle again today, showing her how to use the HPLC. So I'll see how much of that I can film. My plates from yesterday are now in the incubator, so we have to wait until tomorrow to tap them off and to wash them, and then I'll get the results on Monday. But yeah, it's quite nice because the last two weeks have been very, very busy with collecting fractions and drying them and getting them all organised for the bioassay, and this week is just a bit more relaxed. Which is nice to kind of have one week that's busy and one week which is a bit more chill, but I think I'm a bit more used to being busy than I am used to being chill because... I don't know, I find it so difficult to not have a long to-do list. <laughs> That sounds weird. Um, I should be grateful for not having a long to-do list, but for some reason my brain's like, no, give me more tasks, please. I'll never understand myself in my brain, but that's a conversation for another day. Anyway, I'm going to go and read over my notes about the HPLC because I haven't actually used it in quite a few months. I do remember how to use it because I've used it lots and lots of times, but I just need to like refresh my brain and make sure I'm not teaching Joelle anything incorrect. I will speak to you guys later on. Goodbye. Hi guys, happy Friday. I've not really recorded much this week. Um, I've been very, very busy and I think I'm gonna carry this vlog into next week. I actually have an exciting video coming, which we will have already seen before this video goes up. I have an idea that I think I might just upload weekly lab vlogs every two weeks and then in between I'll have like a hints and tips video um, or a general like chit chat video sharing my experiences and my tips and just something a bit different other than a lab vlog. Just because I feel like my content is getting a bit repetitive with the lab vlogs and also it gives me more time that I can accumulate more footage over two weeks instead of just one week. Um, just now I'm just sitting down and writing up my lab notebook because I didn't do it before I left yesterday. I'm waiting for my bioassay incubation time to finish and then I'm going to tap off the plates and stain the biofilms and hopefully we have some good results from my fractions that I have collected over the last two weeks. That's the plan for today. Feeling the Friday vibes. I'm ready for the weekend. Definitely speak to y'all later. Morning everyone. It is Monday today. It is a very grim and dreary Monday outside and I have to walk to the biological sciences building in the pouring rain. So that's going to be fun. Oh, my glasses are steaming up. Let's take this off, shall we? Whew, this room is hot. Um, hello, happy Monday. I hope you all had a nice weekend. Today I am going to take my plates from the bioassay last week. So I set up my plates and everything to run some more of my samples with my bacteria. And today I'm going to go to the plate reader in biological sciences and get my results. And then I'm going to sit and analyze the results. And then if I have any time at the end of the day, I will do some experiments. So that's the plan today. Yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling today. I'm still a bit tired. I think I'm not long woken up, to be honest. Let's see how today goes and the rest of the week. Empty lab this morning. Nobody is here yet. So here are my plates that I just let air dry over the weekend. So now we're going to check them out. Just have a look and see how the biofilms look at the bottom of the wells. And then I'm going to add my ethanol using my trusty multi-channel to suspend the biofilm and the dye then I'm gonna go and take the readings
hello. It is later in the evening now. I have been to the gym and I finished dinner and I'm about to have a shower. Then I'm going to analyze some data because the data that I was supposed to finish analyzing this afternoon, I did not finish because life stuff got in the way. I had to leave the lab and do some other things, deal with some other things. So now I'm going to be spending my evening analyzing the data. That's the good thing when you're doing data analysis, you can do it from home. So I'm going to catch up with what I missed out on this afternoon and then it means I can send my data to my supervisor tomorrow morning. So I have my laptop here ready to go and I'm going to put on the TV and I'm going to get to work. Happy Tuesday. I am currently preparing an NMR sample to see if it has any interesting peaks, to see if it could be an interesting uh, set of compounds. So I'm going to show you the process of preparing a sample for the NMR. Morning. it's Thursday. Yesterday was not a good day and I was very angry because none of my analysis was working out. My experiment did not work. I was working on the HPLC. I'm going to show you some of my chromatograms now. I was basically trying to do method development. So I was trying to develop a HPLC method in order to separate my compounds. And the thing with my samples is that I don't know what types of compounds are in my samples. I only know if they're polar or if they're non-polar from looking at the chromatograms. So when you're trying to develop an HPLC method for unknown compounds essentially it's very very difficult so I'll just show you some of my chromatograms now and show you what I mean so for example here is the chromatogram for one of my samples as you can see here there are quite a few compounds as each of these peaks represent a different compound but the separation is just not very good so I did try to change the method in order to improve the separation and this is what I got, the exact same thing, but the retention time of the peak was shifted. So that did not work very well. So I still need to work on this sample. I also tried another sample, but it turns out that there are far too many peaks. There are two big peaks here and this peak here, which is nice. But yeah, this method also isn't very good because I have far too many peaks. So it looks like I need to do a purification step first before I try and purify this sample on the HPLC. Air bubbles as well. We do not like air bubbles in the HPLC. So yes, yesterday I was not in the mood to vlog because I was literally just a stressy mess all day long and stayed here until half past six and then had to go to the shop and buy dinner and then cook dinner and yesterday was not a good day. So hopefully today is a better day. I'm trying to feel the positive vibes <laughs> and I'm trying to motivate myself to carry on. So I'm going to put the HPLC to wash and then I'm going to get started. Oh! <laughs> Hello, good morning, happy Friday. So a few things have happened this week. First of all, I got accepted to go to the conference that I spoke about a few weeks ago, uh, maybe a few months ago now actually, the conference in California. So I'm excited, that will be in March next year. I'll actually be there for my birthday. Um, so I'm really excited to go to California. I have been to the States before, but I've only been to New York. So that will be really, really fun. And today is an exciting day because we have a postdoc. Finally! So when I first started my PhD, we had a lovely postdoc named Sylvia who was here. But I think maybe about six months after I joined the lab, Sylvia's uh, grant 
ran out and she had to find another position. So for the majority of my PhD, we've not had a postdoc, we've not had a lab manager, we've not had a lab tech, anyone. We've been running all the instruments ourselves, we've been managing the lab ourselves, we've been ordering everything ourselves, and it has been a bit chaotic to say the least. But today, Sylvia has returned! So I need to introduce you guys to Sylvia. If I'm not feeling too shy, then I'll try and get her to come on the vlog <laughs> to say hello. But oh, it is such a relief to have Sylvia back. We will have a senior research member who is full of knowledge, who can help us out with developing methods in the lab. We have someone to help out running the mass spec. So the mass spec team, I don't personally deal with the mass spectrometers but the team of um, students who do will now have some more help in trying to get them fixed and trying to get them serviced and running all the samples and yeah Sylvia is just lovely so it's so nice to have Sylvia back so today is a good day we're also going for some drinks uh, as a lab after our group meeting at four o'clock yeah until then I just need to crack on and try and do some work I need to look over my to-do list because I can't actually remember what I need to do today it's Friday so good vibes oh no that's bad vibes good vibes all around <laughs>